you on vacation if you don't land and immediately look for food? We're in Jamaica! All right, y'all, my first meal in Jamaica. Got some fried chicken, rice and peas, some salad, and we got some big of orange. I guess that is Jamaica's Fanta. It's like not even noon yet and I'm already eating fried chicken and rice. So you guys, I've never been to Jamaica. It has been on my list forever, forever. I've always wanted to come and it's just never worked out time-wise and travel-wise. So I'm so excited for this trip. We are here a total of four nights, five days. We are staying at the Jewel Grand Montego Bay Resort and Spa. So obviously when we get there, I will do a complete tour. Right now we are just waiting on the rest of our group to land. So I'm missing two people, my sister and my best friend. So we're gonna wait for them here while we eat and then once we're all together then we're gonna take the hotel shuttle to the resort. So I'm just gonna enjoy the food and then get to the resort. It is the first drink of our Montego Bay Jamaica vacation. Another vacation on the books. <laughs> Rum punch. Ooh. Huh? Make your lip quiver. That is very, very good. First drink in the book. Sepsis. Both my sisters are here. Woo! Party's here. <laughs> Like that, I get something about I'm actually yeah. going here. Ooh. Oh, I was you said I'm gonna save the best for last. Oh, oh no. Oh, he flirting, bro? Yeah, he flirting. <laughs> oh, they drive on the right side. <laughs> oh, look at the little shop. <laughs> Not Nigeria is Negru. <laughs> Honest mistake. <laughs> the shops. The ocean is beautiful. Even flying in, like the ocean looks so nice. Okay, so we made a pit stop at the dispensary, you guys. I don't know if I could record in here. I'm, I'm crossing. Herbs. Got some strain. Ooh, it smells delicious in here. Uh, let's see. It's blueberry skunk. Mm -hmm. <laughs> smells delicious. <laughs> we got gas mask bongs, it looks like. Very COVID friendly. <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome. I love how it's just like so normalized. I know they got munchies in the cabinet, they got Pringles, soda. A lot of This is very nice. A lot of rice and meat. Come back. Thick as a mug. Thickums. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Perfect, 35.5 degrees Celsius. 35.5. Yeah. So once you're under 37, once you're under 37.5, you're in the safe zone. <laughs> safe zone? Yes. You don't have a fever. So Thank you. Yeah. Right? Thank Open you. Ooh, this is beautiful. Hello, hello. All the restaurant bars and everything that's here mm -hmm. is open today. Everybody will give you an updated copy, all right? Perfect. If you want to visit the spa or the fitness center, remember, it's right here. I'm Josh, it's all inclusive. Thank you. Thank you.
We have your in-room dining menu. Everything Ooh. Everything's got inclusive as well. In terms of pool water, beverage, all you have to do is just ask your 24 hour service. <laughs> You only need one restaurant to make a reservation for it. That's an Asian restaurant. Right? <laughs> Asian All restaurant. Walk in. We have two here in the lobby. We have the boom, the wave. We have boom, the lobby, Sean. And guess what happened? On the other side, we have the Moonstone. That's the Italian cook. You have the main buffet. If you want to make a reservation, just dial zero. Want to have anything from home? Just dial zero. Have any queries? Dial zero. zero. <laughs> Gentlemen, Got it. Here. Welcome to Jeffrey's World. Happy New Year. Uh, thank you, Jeffrey. Oh, the drink is coming. Yes. So, Jeffrey, the wristbands are for our room, too? Oh, yeah, those are your room keys. Room keys. Got it. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much, O'Brien. Who wants to do the toast? I'll do the toast. <laughs> Welcome to Jamaica, family. Let's have a great time. Cheers. Cheers. This one's so much better. Y'all want to go to a grill or something? Let's go somewhere. All right, let's go check it out. Nice little bar over here in the lobby area. This looks like maybe a restaurant. Or, I don't know. I don't know what that is. <laughs> Not sure. Maybe they have complimentary breakfast there. Let's see. Where's your room, Jim? 805. We're room 805. Oh my goodness, this is so pretty. Ah, this is gonna be a good time, I feel it. I feel it in my bones that it's gonna be a good time. This looks like a good crowd. Oh my gosh, these views, you guys. Look at how tall the buildings are. This is very, very nice. Pool is right in the middle, it looks like. I'm not sure if there's another pool, but we're gonna go around and explore and do a property tour so you guys can see all the details. Um, so let's go check into the room first. Only one of the rooms are ready. So, on the limo, not the Maserati, O'Brien. Not the Maserati. We have the queen at the front. Queen here and the princesses. Oh, the princesses! Oh, princesses. <laughs> oh, we may weigh this down. <laughs> <laughs> the tires better be strong. <laughs> A lot of weight on here. Alright, so first time here? Yes. First timers. All right, welcome. My name is O'Brien. Hi, O'Brien. Yeah, he's the one up here. We like that. So where you check in here, that's a club house that you can see on this side. This is the Century Palm. Thank you. All right, so welcome home. We're like amazed by everything. Right? Look at these views. Oh, he put us up high, Pri. Oh my goodness. This is different. Oh, look at this over here. Yeah, man. This is it right here, O'Brien. 805. 805, so okay. Stickers there showing that the it's room clean. Is and clean just for you. Okay, so, so do we scan? Perfect. Okay. Let's turn on some lights so we can do a a oh, little tour. So here we have the opening of the door with the little room painting here. Then we come right here into the bathroom. We have an open shower with a sliding door here. Um, the bathroom is separately here. We have double sinks. And then we have what looks like a jacuzzi tub. 
also feeds into shutter doors here where you can kind of look out from the bathtub, very romantic. So we're gonna come back around here. We have some like storage space. This looks like a mini fridge with some refreshments in. Storage and cabinet space down here. Also overhead, very convenient, especially for like longer term stays. Over here we have a closet with a safe, ironing board, and a luggage cart thing. I'm not seeing any robes in the closet, which I am a huge fan of, you guys. Like, If you've watched any of my travel vlogs before, then you know that I am a huge like fan of robes and slippers, so I will be calling guest services to get those. <laughs> um, I just like wearing them around the room, you know? Like, who wants to be fully dressed? Just throw on a robe and some slippers, so I will be calling. Um, and usually hotels have them, they just, you know, you just have to call. So we have a double room here. This is a junior double suite. Um, we have a full length mirror, hey. We have a nice flat screen TV there. Once again, a lot of storage and sitting space here. Table, these nice little couches here, like ottoman type couches. I actually really like that. I've never seen that before at a hotel resort. Um, and then of course, the best part of the room, we have a spectacular view from the balcony here. Two full length lawn chairs can kind of lay out and relax. And then here is our view, you guys. Amazing. This is spectacular. We have a private pool down here with a swim up bar, um, which we also noticed is separate from the main pool of the property. Very, very beautiful, you guys. This is also really intriguing to me because it looks like this is like a cove, like a man-made cove, so that um, those rocks over there are kind of stopping the waves from the ocean. So it look, the water looks very calm um, right there on the beach, um, right in front of the property. So that's awesome. So this particular room is an oceanfront junior suite double, you guys. Um, we are on the eighth floor, so very high up, beautiful views and it's just, I'm getting good vibes, you guys. I'm getting really good vibes from this resort and this property. It doesn't look very busy. It doesn't look like there's a lot of kids running around. <laughs> good vibes. You see these good vibes in the background right now? We're, we're pretty happy so far. So hopefully the food is good. We're gonna go out, see what the beach is looking like, see what the water is looking like, and see what the Jewel Grand has to offer us. At check-in, they did offer us an upgrade. Um, it was very tempting, but it was gonna be about a hundred dollars a night and we're here for four nights um and they were going to upgrade us to like a two bedroom suite which is like oh, it does sound really good the hotel is not anywhere near fully booked so they reduced that upgrade rate significantly but still you know we don't plan on being in the in the room too much we want to do some excursions and get out and spend a lot of time outside in the pool on the beach so for me, it just for the financial and you know part of it, it just doesn't make all that much sense. So you know we're just gonna stick with this room, which I'm glad we did because it's beautiful. So now we're just gonna walk around and kind of explore the property and get comfortable, settle in, hit the bar, get some drinks, and have a good time. So let's go. <laughs> not the first shots of vacation. Oh, not in the ketchup containers. <laughs> Not in the ketchup container. Like, like, they didn't give us this. this is what they gave us. <laughs> Look at this view this behind me, you guys. Oh, oh my I'm goodness. goodness. Actually, it was always brown the for me. You. All right, we taking the shot, y'all? Who got the cheers this time? Somebody too. else got to do it but me. Cheers to a great day, Kay. Hey, good vibes. Good vibes. Safe vibes, good vibes. Hey, Amen. Cheers, y'all. Cheers, cheers. <laughs> That's cold. Come in. Come in. <laughs> First shot down. <laughs> Second round. <laughs> Second round of shots, y'all. I do want my candy. I got a dinosaur in there. We got the house drink, cranberry, mango, another shot of tequila. Oh, we got more chicken. We got more jerk chicken on the table too. Oh my goodness. Second shot, let's go. 
health, wealth, 22, everybody getting promotion, raises. Ooh, Sorry. I like um, that. <laughs> money Cheers, talk. money talk. That being said, just everybody giving off their chairs. We need two more rounds of shots. Oh my God. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, it's you again. Hi, YouTube. My name is Priya. I'm a 27 year old from Pittsburgh, PA. Okay, Pittsburgh. Okay, Shout Pittsburgh. out, Steelers. Go Steelers. Go Steelers. Pirates, you know? <laughs> I haven't seen Jew in like. A year, a year and a half. A year and a half, okay, a year and a half. And it's one of my girl we met in Pittsburgh mm -hmm. a long time ago. She'll forever have my heart, my baby oh. license. So good wishes to her, good luck in the future. Okay, YouTube, yeah. shout out subbies. That's Pre. Pre made it to the channel. Made it to the channel. <laughs> Here along the beach close to the pier it's very rocky i don't know if you guys can see all those rocks in there but it doesn't look very comfortable to walk on but there is a section part of the water over here that's buoyed and that looks like more of the swimming area because there were people in here earlier swimming so that's probably the less rocky area that is kind of sectioned off for swimming. But as you guys can see, these views are amazing. Hello, little kid. Oh, he's playing with the ball. Um, but these views are amazing, you guys. Like, just look at the sky. Look at the scenery. It's like very, very beautiful. Oh, there's the ball. Oh, no. There goes the ball. Okay, bye. Um, as you guys can see, there are kids at this resort. It is not adults only. But luckily, they're not like annoying kids. But yeah popping right now look at that you guys like can you get any more beautiful than that look at those pinks in the sky oh gorgeous 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 no, no. oh god they look at these these are lovely <laughs> these are look at these little things cheers ladies <laughs> the glass was cute. The tequila was tequila. <laughs> okay, so this is the Tower C that we're in now. That looks like the gift shop. What is this? A little bakery? Oh, a cafe! 6.30 to 10.30. Oh my goodness, look at this. It looks lovely. Ice cream. We got pastries. Pastries over here. This is good like drunk food. <laughs> Alright guys, so for the first night here in Jamaica, we are eating at the Italian restaurant here at the resort. So we got some calamari for appetizers, some bruschetta. Now for our entrees, we're eating chicken alfredo what is this on the table here uh, we got some noki pumpkin noki we got chicken alfredo what's this you got Abe? red snapper red snapper how is it <laughs> delicious <laughs> you guys i called the front desk and they brought slippers and robes because i told you guys it's really make or break for me and they pulled through so we got us some supplies good morning friends so it is another day in paradise day two so we are up in adam pretty bright and early it's about 8 a.m or so so here i am on the balcony oh my gosh i match the lawn chairs or the beach chairs that's funny so here is the view from the balcony here reminder that we are in tower c or century tower and we are on the eighth floor. So it looks like one of the highest floors here in this tower. So there's tower B and tower A, uh, we're tower C. So super cute views. I hope today is going to be a nice, warm, sunny day. We wanna chill and hang out and catch some sun. Hello, good morning. How are you? Got some fruit, I'm good. Cereals, what do we 
got some meats and veggies, a toaster, bread, good assortment. We got pastries over here. Although you are visiting another country, you are still responsible for wearing a mask and protecting yourself and others. When I was in Mexico, maybe about six months ago, it was not the case. They were not as strict with the mask policy. There were a lot of tourists not wearing masks around the resort. So I am, it is a little refreshing to see that here in Jamaica at this resort, they're taking it a little more seriously. So just be mindful of that. We got a personal omelet, we got some bacon, some chala French toast, some cheese, some coffee. Bon appetit! Alright guys, so here we are at the private pool of our tower right there, that Century Tower, Tower C. We are gonna post up right here, <laughs> put all the chairs together, pop up these umbrellas, and relax and do a little pool day. Breakfast was really good, you guys. They had amazing French toast. My omelet was amazing. The one thing that I will say uh, as like a critique or feedback um, from the breakfast buffet is that there were no non-pork options for breakfast meats. So there was only pork bacon and pork sausage. So if you are a non-pork eater, um, then that probably wasn't the best you know, buffet for you. There were like vegetarian options and things like that, but um, I didn't see any non-pork options. So I just wanted to throw that out there that let's get some turkey sausage or turkey bacon in there. Okay, I've been corrected you guys. There was some stewed chicken there at the breakfast buffet. I don't know. Um, and also like some fish, like some mackerel or something like that. But as far as like bacon, sausage, typical kind of standard American breakfast meats, it was mostly pork options. So there we go. There are some boats and paddle boards and kayaks and stuff available here at the resort for your entertainment and for your activity. However, they said that the waters are a little choppy right now, so we can't go out on those those things right now. Um, but they said that they'll let us know when it calms down a little bit more that we can go out safely and paddleboard and whatnot and sail. So we're just gonna swim, have a good time, catch some sun rays until the water is a little more calm. Um, and as you guys can see, it's beautiful. I am particularly not a huge fan of the ocean, you guys. It just scares the living daylights out of me. I have a huge fear of sharks. I just, the ocean is a scary place, you guys, but this water just makes me feel so much more calm. Um, look at how clear it is. Like, if I can see through the water, then I feel more calm about it, right? Like, I just don't want a shark to be biting my ankle and I just can't see it. So, it's very clear. So we are just gonna enjoy this water and chill until the water calms down a little bit. It seems so calm, but I don't know. I guess it's too choppy, but <laughs> too choppy. But <laughs> if it's for safety, it's for safety. So I won't argue with them. <laughs> but it also looks like there's a wedding going on or some sort of some sort of gathering party going on here in that gazebo um, on the pier. So I'm gonna keep an eye on that too, cause I'm nosy and I just love love. So if it's a wedding, I might have to crash it. We got jerk chicken for lunch. We got jerk chicken and beef patty. <laughs> we got some margaritas. How's the food say? Really good. Really good? Okay. I like that. What you got over there, Avery? I got, I got a little sea bass here with some coleslaw. Okay. Jerk, and bar some jerk barbecue or some other y'all might say. Okay. <laughs> Let's get into it. Okay. 
going to the steakhouse tonight. So we got dress is from Jux Label, bag is from Fashion Nova, shoes from Sheen. Pretty little thing. <laughs> All right, guys, we are off to dinner. We've got golf cart service. We're back in the Lambo. Not the Lambo. The Lambo. The other day was the Maserati, tonight's the Lambo. Um, so we're going from our resort tower to the main tower with the lobby um, to go to the steakhouse for dinner tonight. So, yeah. Good evening. Is this a Le Bouchon? Le Bouchon? Is it this? Is this the restaurant? This looks like a bathroom. Oh no. Le Bouchon. Le Bouchon. Is this a steak house? It is. Okay, thank you. Let's go in here. Le Bouchon. Here we got lobster tail and tomahawk steak for sale. <laughs> And then here is to scan the menu. That's good, perfect. Thank you so much. Look at that, you guys. So cute. Wow, my tenderloin, shrimp skewer, corn on the cob. Where's the mashed potatoes? Oh, mashed potatoes hiding under there. Wow, it looks delicious. Here we got dessert. We got a crepe with chocolate sauce and looks like some ice cream. My lactose intolerance is gonna be <laughs> acting up, but it's okay. All right, guys, so we just finished dinner at the steakhouse and now we are going over to one of the towers because they are having a silent party. So that is like the activity for tonight. Okay, I see. So we got our green DJ here, our red DJ here. So it's two stations. So you guys can see everybody has either green or red stations on. And it's very quiet out here, but you got people full blown dancing. So it looks like they're over there doing doing the wobble. Doing the wobble. Oh, this must be a good tune. They're getting hype. If you top not, let me All right, guys, so we are concluding night number two. Overall, it was a great day, you guys. We did a lot of just like hanging out at the beach, getting a lot of sun, eating, drinking, having a great time. The restaurant was really good tonight, right, Priya? It was very good. Very good. Much better than the Italian restaurant yesterday. Um, they were hating on the Italian restaurant. I thought it was actually okay last night. Um, but this steakhouse tonight was very, very good. My steak was good. The shrimp was good. The salad was good. Everything was good. The dessert, the crepe chocolate dessert was amazing and then obviously we concluded the night at the silent party which was really fun and random but you know just having a blast it took off your headphones and you hear everyone's voices and it was like okay let me put these things back on um but yeah it's a great night we are going to get some sleep because we're going to be up bright and early grab some breakfast and then we are headed to ocho's rios for is it ocho rios or ocho's rios I don't know, but we're going to Ocho Rios tomorrow for the day. We're gonna hit some, you know, like tourist attractions, do some activities. Um, so we wanna get our energy up for that. So see you guys in the morning. Hello friends, good morning. We are here on day three in beautiful paradise, Montego Bay, Jamaica. We are headed out for excursion day, you guys. This is like my favorite day of vacation when I get to go off of the resort while I love the all-inclusive, all you can eat, all you can drink, you know, features of a resort and everything that that has to offer. What better way to explore paradise and explore, you know, the different cultures and countries that you're visiting by going off-site and seeing what it has to offer. And not only that, but also getting to do fun, adventurous things that I love to do so much. So. <laughs> You waiting on me? Yeah. We are are you taking us somewhere? Guys, going to Dunsmore? Yeah, we're waiting on Stevan, our driver. Oh. Yeah, I think he's coming here, right? Yeah, yeah, he's gonna pick you. Okay, perfect. That's okay. Yes, perfect. Thank you. They're so hospitable here, clearly, you know, and they get to really know you guys. Like, you see the same staff every single day, and they're so nice. So, 
clearly an example of that. But yes, so like I was saying, you guys, today we are taking a day trip to Ocho Rios. So it is about an hour and 15 minutes away from the Jewel Grand Montego Bay Resort and Spa, where we are staying right now. So we booked through the resort, through like guest services, the concierge services here on site. And basically we booked a private driver for the day. So he's gonna be taking us to Ocho Rios, our entire group, a private kind of shuttle or van. I'm not sure what it's gonna be. We'll see when he gets here. Um, but he's gonna take us to Ocho Rios and basically we're going to bounce around to the different attractions in Ocho Rios all day with him as our driver. So I think we're gonna go to Dunn's River. We're gonna go to something called the Blue Hole, which I guess is like maybe a jump in a cave or a snorkel or something like that. Um, we're also gonna stop in town and do like you know, see some shops, maybe do some some souvenir shopping, things like that. Um, and then go from there. I'm not sure what else we're gonna do. So you guys are gonna come along and see what the day has to offer. But I think I see a van pulling up. So let's see if this is Steven, our driver. Thank you so much, Sajira. Have a good one. Thank you. Hello, Julia. Good, how are you doing? Good, how are you? Good. I'm waiting on my group, right, but no let me go get them, okay? All right, guys, I made a pit stop here to the gift shop. So we're gonna get a waterproof case so that we can take good pictures and videos at the falls. The, what is it, rum? Yeah. But you you would like the coffee one. But the rum? Not shots of rum in the morning. <laughs> Ooh, that is so smooth. Very good. What you got, Bria? <laughs> Demonstrate. I got a little kit. Okay. You know, season my meats. And then I have this marinade. They said it's very spicy. It's Jamaican scotch bonnet jerk seasoning. Oh, not the scotch bonnet. Avery had that this morning with breakfast. He uh, was sweating. Oh, it was spicy. <laughs> Fun fact, you guys, I like collect mugs. So when you go on vacation, like some people get keychains, some people get t-shirts, whatever. My thing is mugs. Like, I don't know what it is. I just feel like it's the most useful souvenir. Um, and you know, I always drink coffee or tea, so I can always use a mug. But I just hate like trinkets and stuff like that because I feel like they've gone to waste, or I just hoard them and eventually throw them out. So like mugs are like, <sighs> I love them. Okay, guys, I think I found one. So this cute little green ombre one. It says One Love Jamaica. I don't really have green mugs, so I think this fits what I'm looking for. I love it, and it's 50% off. The souvenir mugs so it's originally $24 so about $12 which is pretty good deal for a mug um, 24 would have been a stretch but 12 I can do think you're about to do like what are your expectations I think we're gonna we're gonna climb this waterfall we're gonna I guess climb, this climb, climb the waterfall probably beautiful at the top maybe get to swim in some shallow water or something and then nice little workout yeah take some pictures do you guys think it's gonna be like an intense hike you think it's just gonna be a little heavy breathing well by the way you're talking about it made me think that it's an intense hike but okay I want to see everybody's faces before Zero to we test, know what like a <laughs> and after. Oh, these are gorgeous. Which one? Oh, her, her in the background, her little butt out. Beautiful.
see the falls in the background. This is our crew. We're getting ready to hike this bad boy. Let's do it. Let's go, Randy. So what do we think, gang? How was Dunn's River? 10. 10 out of 10? Yeah. It was good. It was quite a workout. The breaks, we got to break like kind of every so, you know, many feet. Every time we kind of went to the next level of falls, we got a break and got to take pictures or go down a slide or, you know, just have a few minutes to relax, which was actually really helpful because it was quite physically taxing. So that little break every step of the way kind of helped you catch your breath and relax and get ready for the next level. But loved it, you guys. The views were immaculate. 10 out of 10 recommend. I definitely have some battle wounds, you guys. I have a little, <laughs> a little scrape on the knee here. I got some, some bruises right here on my shin, but not too bad. The water shoes were amazing. I'm gonna link them in my bio. They were very affordable on Amazon. Do it again, what is it? Love, love, Life. respect, respect. Prosperity. happiness, I prosperity, first time you long life, no pain. <laughs> I like it's that. Your first time here? It is. Here, I no, I gotta go. Okay, so there's some. He said there's these cheese patties, and cheese patties got cheese and bacon. He said those are really good. So we got oh. some cheese patties and we got regular beef patties. So I know you lactose intolerant and all that. <laughs> yeah, I don't need that. Need to be having no cheese on this trip. I'll do regular beef. Thank you. Um, guava okay, pineapple ma juice. You want to try the bread? No, thank you. Actually, you were down. I got my beef patty in Ooh. here. Jesus Christ. Oh my God. They are. They, they want us bad right now. They want to be our guides so bad right now. <laughs> Here we are guys, our next excursion trip. We are at the Blue Hole. Hi, doggy! Wow. Hi! Look at the little she, collar. She, 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 uh, <laughs> Paul, Jake. So here we are. Priya, he's not listening to you. You're not Jamaican. Shake. <laughs> Shake? Shake? Oh, he wanted to. He wanted to. We got natural blue hole. No sexual harassment by staff. Is that boss? He's a security. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at the tubes. So pretty. Say hi, y'all. Nothing to go. Okay, for you. Go ahead. Go ahead, for you. <laughs> All of us, we're just, some people are gonna use life jackets. Right. Y'all ready to jump? Y'all ready to jump? We're ready. Who's scared? <laughs> <laughs> Who's scared? I see a few frightened looks over there. <laughs> Is it that one up there? Huh? Is that one up there? Yeah. Do I go first? Yeah, I think I need to put my phone somewhere.
blue hole here in the background before we leave. Super beautiful. There's some other tourists coming across. 10 out of 10 recommend. I'll do a more thorough kind of experience review when I get back into the van, but low-key I preferred this excursion over Dunn's River. <laughs> sorry. Sorry, not sorry. All right, guys, so let's poll the audience here. What is your preference, Dunn's River or Blue Hole? One at a time. I don't want to hear, oh, this for this, this for that. You have to pick either or. Starting with Caroline, Dunn's River or Blue Hole? Which one did you prefer? Um, I preferred... Dunn's River. <laughs> Tay, Dunn's River or Blue Hole? Dunn's River. Dunn's River. Avery, Dunn's River or Blue Hole? Blue. Blue Hole? Yes. Priya, Dunn's River or Blue Hole? I want to say Blue Hole. Blue Hole? I'm the tiebreaker! <laughs> I'm the tiebreaker! We got two for Blue Hole, two for Dunn's River, so I'm going to break the tie, and I already let you guys in on what my preference was earlier in this vlog but my tie breaking vote is for blue hole so i don't know i just mm -hmm. i thought it had everything dunn's river had plus more you know like mm -hmm. like more thrilling, like, more thrilling yes all right so we're pulling up at kfc you guys because they say kfc internationally is better and look oh my gosh they have people taking orders Jamaica what? to US. Anything else? No. There. $40. Thank you so much. What was your name? Robinson. Thank you, Robinson. Thank you for your patience. Thank you for your patience. Okay, you guys, this is the longest drive through for KFC I've ever been in in my life. It's been probably about 15 to 20 minutes already. There's Starbucks over there. It is like the American Chick-fil-A equivalent without the Chick-fil-A speed and efficiency. I got a two-piece with a breast and a wing. Regular. I think that's the, the bigger one is the breast. Wow, you didn't have to eat a fry like that. That's delicious though. Alright guys, so I am finally back in the room. It was such a long day on the excursion. I showered, I ordered some room service, not only because I was hungry, but I'm also really tired, so I didn't wanna go to one of the restaurants like physically, um, but also I am just a sucker for trying room service when I'm on vacation and to kind of get all that you can out of the all-inclusive, like you have to try the room service just to see if it's good. And we're in Jamaica, like I need to try the food. So here we go, you guys. I have a jerk chicken wrap with a side of french fries. You guys, they took mini and personal sized to ne the next level. Like I might have to call back and order another one of those. And this is a brownie. All right, guys, so. It is day four of five in paradise. I woke up pretty early this morning. It is about 7.15. I'm committed to going to the beach and doing some beach yoga this morning. This is the last full day in paradise, so we have got to make the most of it. So no time to waste, let's go. <laughs> Where's his bag at? <laughs> Where's he putting those fish? Oh my gosh! Hold on, let me see. 
Wow, look at all those fish. We're coming to the seafood restaurant tonight. Yes, good job. Hello. Look at all these boats. We're ready to go, guys. We got our life vests on. Our boats are getting ready in the background. We have five people, so we have to do two boats, one with three people, one with two, but they're getting us hooked up, so this should be a good time. Did you guys see that? Awesome, awesome sailing. All right guys, we're gonna get a game of volleyball. Beach volleyball, see the net right there? We're gonna get a game going, because we are all a competitive family here today. Um, so we're gonna get some beach volleyball going for a few minutes. I'm not sure how good we're gonna be. Um, and then we're gonna go eat lunch. So let's see what we got. Congratulations to you, Juju. Love you. Bye. All right guys, here we are. We're getting our COVID tests because we leave tomorrow. The US requires you to have a COVID test within one day. So here's antigen testing, nine to four walk-ins. What? Oh, damn. I thought we had till four. No, test is between nine to 12 o'clock here. They didn't say that yesterday. She said we can come anytime after 10 o'clock and then after. They literally told us to come anytime after 10 a.m. for walk-ins. We we're coming at what is it? One. It's 1:55. We leave tomorrow. Our shuttle leaves the resort at 12 p.m. for a three o'clock flight. They're telling us to come at 10 for walk-in COVID testing, and it'll be back within two hours. That's a little bit too close for comfort for me. Um. And what happens if somebody's positive yeah. and then you're already left the resort at the airport? Can't even cancel your can't, flight. Right, can't even cancel <laughs> right. your flight. Yeah, I don't like that. One thing that I think this resort could do a little bit better is like information, the sharing of information and dissemination of information. Hello, fellas. Love the green, love the green shirts. Um, there's been a lot of stuff that's like just been kind of miscommunicated or not really communicated fully to us that. I don't know, maybe it's just the bias that I have as a traveler, as a tourist, but I like things made super simple for me, right? Especially if I'm not in my home country, I don't know what's going on. So when I check in, can you guys make me the COVID test, you know, and tell me where to be at what time? We've had some issues with dinner reservations, um, you know, not letting us know that certain restaurants were open on certain nights. So now we're leaving and we wanted to eat at one restaurant and it's closed tonight so we're going to miss out on the opportunity to eat at the hibachi restaurant so little things like that that's just like like come on can we kind of communicate well so that the five day stay is like we're maximizing on it right so i'll talk about more later in the vlog but just a little thing that's like ooh, you know say hi to the vlog amanda yes thank you so much i'm gonna stop back over there oh you got some okay we got lunch by the pool, you guys. We got some fish tacos, some nachos, some chicken fingers, jerk chicken wrap, beautiful Leone there. The pool. All right, guys, I am putting together my suitcase, trying to pack up a little bit for tomorrow, but it is the last full day in paradise today. We unfortunately leave tomorrow around 3 p.m. So our shuttle leaves the resort at around noon. We have to go and get our COVID tests at 10 a.m. So it's kind of like a busy day in the morning. But tonight, because I didn't have my camera because it broke, 
forgot to show you guys the restaurant and where we ate tonight but tonight we ate at the lobby restaurant it's called waves so it's kind of like a seafood it's like a surf and turf type of restaurant they had a lot of seafood dishes but it was really really good i had oxtail ravioli i had shrimp risotto for my entree i also had some crawfish bisque so everything i had there was really good so waves was the restaurant it's in the main building that includes the lobby so highly highly recommend um but that's about it for today you guys i'm gonna you know take off my makeup and get some rest feel really really exhausted from kind of our full day of activity yesterday so kind of just want to sleep and get ready to go back home tomorrow Wee! um so i'll tap in with you guys tomorrow good night Oh my gosh. It's the last day in paradise, you guys. But before we leave, we are going to do some paddle boarding. So we have about two hours left before we check out. So you know, we have been trying to do paddle boarding for probably the last three days or so, but they said that the waves have been too choppy. So they were like, we're gonna, you know, let you guys go out there. It's not as calm as we typically like it, but it's okay enough, you know, as long as you guys wear your life vest and everything. So we are going to go out on the paddle boards. Super, super excited, so let's get it. Waves don't look that crazy to me, but I don't know what I'm doing too. So chances are I'll probably get out there and be like, <gasps> I'm dying, oh my God. Falling off the paddleboard, not being able to control it. But pray for me, you guys. I think it'll be fun nonetheless. One more day you guys could have used one more day it's like a day too short but we're ready to go home nonetheless we got our covid results back from this morning you guys it came back very very quickly within like an hour um we're all negative thank god so we are headed back home our last ride jamaica like Jamaica? Yeah, yeah man. <laughs> Not Bria eating a beef patty. <laughs> Alright guys, so as you can see, I am sadly back in New Jersey, no longer on the beach in paradise of Montego Bay, Jamaica. So just to fully recap for you guys, I flew out of Newark Airport straight nonstop to Montego Bay, Jamaica, where I stayed for four nights, five days at the Jewel Grand Montego Bay Resort and Spa. And lastly, you guys, I know how important cost is when we are talking about traveling and all of that. So I like to include it in my review, just so you guys know kind of how much it costs me to do the things that you saw in this video. 
video. So for my five day, four night stay in Jamaica, I spent $845 on the room. It was a shared double room, as you guys saw. The king rooms were actually a little bit cheaper. Um, so you can look that up on the Jewel Grand website. It was actually cheaper to book on the Jewel Grand website for the room than on Expedia or a third party. So look on their personal website, you guys. I know that third parties are super useful and convenient, you guys, and I myself do use Expedia for a lot of my travel. However, if I didn't look on the actual you know, resort website, I would have missed this amazing deal that they were having. So always be sure to check the actual resort website or check, you know, the hotel's website when you're traveling somewhere and don't just go right for the third party because you might be missing out on a, on saving a few couple hundred dollars. You know what I mean? I saved hundreds and hundreds of dollars on this trip by going to the Jewel Grand website. So just check it before you go the third party route. So $845 for my room. My round trip flight from Newark to Montego Bay was $272. I spent $120 total for the excursion day, including the personal driver, the personal driver Bobby that we had for the entire day, the $25 entrance fee to Dunn's River, the $25 entrance fee to Blue Hole. And lastly, I personally spent $40 in tips throughout the entire stay. So just tipping the server, the waiter, you know, the bartender, $40 in tips. And while $40 may not seem like a lot, you guys, I did feel like I was tipping a lot. I was tipping every time, you know, I, I ate or drank or whatever. And I guess there were five of us total in the group and we kind of just split the tips, right? Like whoever had cash on hand at that moment or whatever. So that was $40 for me personally. However, I was with other people and we all tipped collectively. So, you know, I guess kind of split the tips amongst your group um, and account for tipping, you know, most resorts, although they are all inclusive. And while the Jewel Grand in, in particular did not seem to care about tips or, or at all, they were super hospitable and welcoming and did a great job regardless of tip. Um, we still did tip. So if you are a tipper, you know, um, because it's a personal choice, whatever culture or kind of opinions you have on tipping in the all inclusive environment, just account for that in your funds. So for this trip, you guys in total to Montego Bay, Jamaica, I spent $1,277, give or take a few dollars that I'm not remembering or not accounting for, but about 12 to $1,300. I would say that's a pretty good deal um, based on a lot of the travels that I've done in the past. Of course, we could have stayed at a resort that wasn't as expensive or even got an Airbnb. Of course, maybe we didn't have to do five days or four nights. But overall, I thought that it was a very cost efficient trip. Um, and I was very satisfied with the price point that we paid. So that, my friends, is my recap of my trip to Montego Bay, Jamaica. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. It was a really, really fun trip. I really enjoyed Jamaica, you guys, and I can't wait to go back. There's so much more I want to do um, that I didn't get to do on this trip, but it's coming, don't worry. So be sure you guys give this video a thumbs up. Be sure you're subscribed if you're not. Like, come on, you don't wanna miss this content like there are more trips coming you guys like soon like soon soon too so be sure you guys are subscribed hit that notification bell so you are alerted every time a new video is hot off the press and i will see you guys next time stay safe stay well love you family catch you on the flip side